Dear friends, welcome back. This is Web Organization. And this is also the application part of numerical integration only. In this video, we are going to discuss three more problems. All are a different kind. We will compare the previous one and the important kind also. Now come to the problem. When your train is moving at a 30 meter per second, the stream is shut off and the brakes are applied. The speed of the train as per second after t second is given by so time and the velocity they have given. They asked to determine the distance moved by the train in 40 seconds, 0 to 40. This is what they asked. Right. Not only in this problem, the upcoming three problems also the similar kind. Either you may find distance or it may be time or it may be velocity. So these three things will be there. So uh, would you remember what are the relation between all the three velocity, distance and time. So it's a basic thing only. We know very well velocity is equal to ts upon dt. Then we have to find distance which implies that keep ds in the left hand side and take dt to the another side. So v into dt. Our aim is to find s only distance. So how can we find s? So if you are integrating on both sides obviously we will get s. So left hand side s is equal to integral v into dt. So v with respect to t v he has given and with respect to t also he, he has given directly we can take the values from the table we can proceed for that so what is the time duration 0 to 40 seconds how much distance it is moved this is what they asked right come to the problem So time interval is 0 to 40 and h value is 5. You know very well the value of x. Uh, here it is t. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So h will be 5. So we know very well v equal to ds by dt. Uh, this control only just before I explain. Then v is equal to v into dt. Integrated on both sides we can get s equal to v into dt. So uh, time duration 0 to 40 we have to find the speed uh, sorry distance of the train Simpson one third row they have to apply both of the rules here play the formula h by 3 first value plus last value 2 into even values plus 4 times of the odd values or rest of the values substitute the values from the table simplify that we can get the answer the distance is 606.67 meters that's it so we have to use simpson 3 8 rule also now so sorry they didn't mention the method simpson one third rule only they asked to find so why not y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 y7 y8 so only Simpson, uh, Simpson one third rule only applicable. That's why they didn't mention three eight rule here because it is even, not multiple of three. So finding the value up to zero to forty and what is the distance? It is enough to apply Simpson one third rule alone here, right? Now I have given one more problem. The velocity v of a moving particle previously they mentioned that as a train now they have given that as a moving particle at the time t so velocity under time t they have given like the previous problem they asked to find the distance so velocity equal to ds upon dt then ds equal to v into dt so integrating both sides s equal to s equal to integral v into dt so this is the way to find the distance covered by the particle 
so I'm not going to solve it. Uh, take this as a practice one for you. Proceed as above, you will get the answer. Distance is 552 meters. Now come to the next problem. It's a entirely different one and important one also. Velocity they have given and the distance also they have given. We have to find the time taken to travel 60 meters, 0 to 60 meters using Simpson 1 third, Simpson 3 8 rule. Right. So time taken we have to find. So here also the similar all the three kinds are there velocity, dis, uh, distance and time. So what is the relation V equivalent to ds upon dt. But what we have to find time which implies dt is equivalent to take uh, dt to the left hand side and uh, take v to the right hand side it will come like 1 by v into ds. Then integrating on both sides integral dt is integral 1 by v. So integral dt is t it will be integral 1 by v into ds. But what about in the previous one v into dt directly it was there we have taken the values from the table we solved it. Here he has given v only but we have to find 1 by v that is a different thing here. Apart from that the procedure of everything will be same. So we can't be able to take the values of v here we have to find 1 by v 1 by 47 1 by 58 uh, for everything then only we can solve it. Now come to the problem we know that well, uh, v is equal to ds by dt and uh, dt is 1 by v into ds integrating that we can get t is equal to 1 by v into ds. So we have to find 1 by v 1 by v with respect to x not with v. here the table gives v with respect to s not 1 by v with respect to s. So you have to find 1 by v there right. Now come to the problem we have to find 1 by v. So this is the given one uh, distance 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 and velocity also they have given we are not going to going to consider velocity because we have to find 1 by v that only with respect to s so 1 by v means 1 by 47 1 upon 58 1 upon 64 1 upon 65 1 upon 61 1 upon 52 1 upon 38 this is what our value now this is what our y naught y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and y6 it's a even and a multiple of 3 that's why they asked both of the rules 1 third and 3 8 also applicable here right so 1 by v 1 by 47 this is nothing but 1 by 47 only 1 by 47 values 0 0.0218 similarly find for 1 by 58 and etc etc so this value is only we have to take now Simpson one third rule h by 3 into first value plus last value 2 into even plus 4 into odd values are the rest of the values substitute the values from the table simplify that we can get the time duration t is equal to 1.0635 second we can check the same with the help of 38 rule also because they asked both Simpson 38 rulers 3h by 8 first value plus last value 2 into multiple of 3 plus 3 into uh, most of you will do the mistake here plus 3 3 into y1 plus y2 plus y4 I mean rest of the values so substitute the values from the table 1 by v only how to take simplify that we can get the answer 1.0644. That's it, guys. So these are all the application part of numerical integration. I hope this video is very useful to you. If you like it, share to your friends and subscribe to it. Then only you can get the update immediately. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you once again.